What is up guys, Austin Richo here, and today we're opening more Pokemon cards, and this time we've got the new Sun and Moon Lost Thunder Elite Trainer Box with Azera Aura, I think that's how you say, there on the front. I've never seen this, it's the new, I think, legendary or myth, uh, legendary Pokemon, I think, for um, the Sun and Moon generation, um, so that's cool, that's on there. And I love this box, like, art and color, I like these colors, they choose a lot, I like the light blue and dark blue mix, and then the yellow on top, I like just, like, that whole connection, then you can see on the side here, it's more of, like, a teal color, but I still like and enjoy that a lot. So here, of course, as usual, we got on the back all the items that we're going to be getting in the set, but we'll go ahead and open it up here, and we'll take a look at, oh, through the book in there, um, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the little poster here just to see. Um, of course, it just always has the prints of the cards um, packs on the booster packs. So there we got Zero Aura Lugia. I don't know what that thing's called, and uh, it's Celebi there. So again, I don't know. I can't remember what that thing is called, but um, it looks cool. It looks like a weird, like, uh, like a um, carnival type thing <laughs> or a circus type creature and then so that looks really cool so that's our um, little poster set there then of course we did get the book which we'll look at the very end to see all the different cards we'll set this aside over here then of course we've got our box so open it again their new cool packaging i really like the look and design of this i always just like to flatten it out and sit it back there but it's probably not going to stand very well for me yeah, it's good enough. Um, then we've got all of our packs here. So I assume this is all of our booster packs. So again, there, it's the same artwork we just saw on that poster. We've got our sleeves, of course, with the same stuff on it. Our Oh, there's the code. So if anyone wants the code for that, you can have that. Um, then we've got our dividers, of course, for the box with the um, Zora on it. Energy cards. Then we've got our damage coins and GX card. Ooh, I like the blue on the GX there. Then we've got the dice, which look really cool. Again, we've got the yellow with the blue inside. But I really like this one. It's like a weird bluish green color with the yellow um, spots in it for the coin. That looks really nice. And it looks like that is it for the box. So we'll go ahead and just move this all aside here. Of course, we don't need to see any of this stuff anymore. We're just worried about our packs now. So hopefully we get some good stuff. So if you saw the Pikachu and Eevee Pokeball collection set that, we, um, that I did last week you would have saw I would have I opened my the first set of cards and everything um so that uh, thing's just everything's just in the way on here um so we got a couple cool cards from that so I'm excited to get more into it so we should have what um eight sets so four yeah eight so we'll go ahead and start with this again I don't know what this thing I saw there was a thing called a um blacephalon maybe that's what this is I don't really know for sure but let's just get into our cards and from our first pack we've got a hoppip eevee another hoppip with the different artwork peaky peck durant we've got oh starting off with a prism a star Pris prism star again i prism star i always figure what they're called with a thunder mountain it's the trainer card there so that looks really cool set that aside and then we've got a wobbuffet as our rare it's not hollow or anything but that is our rare card so we'll just sit that down back there then we've got a dark energy a hair across pincer memory energy and the code next up we've got larvitar tangela ninkata chinchu Marip. I like these artworks a lot. Then we've got a reverse hollow grand bowl, which looks really cool. Oh, and then we got our first, we got a sig sigilif. I don't know exactly how to say that. I remember this card, but I don't know. A sig sigilif, sigilif, something like that. A GX card there, which again looks super cool. It's got 170 HP ability of mirror counter, sonic wing, and the GX move of intercept. So that looks really cool. That is awesome. We'll go ahead and stand. Oh, I was going to say stand it up, but I don't know if it's going to stand. There we go. We got a fairy energy, hair across, pincer, another memory energy, and the code. Next pack, we've got a Cinequil, Pineco, Combi, Litleo, Cutie Fly, a Blitzel Reverse Hollow. We'll set that aside, and Asmuro as our rare card. There. I don't know why they always include Asmuro as a rare. Electric energy, area dose, Moo Milk, a trainer card, Vespa Queen, and the code. Next, we've got a Jigglypuff, Mareep, a Lone Vulpix, Houndour, Poipol, a Durant Reverse Hollow, and a Nihiligo. Again, I never know how to say these Ultra Beast cards, but a Nihiligo um, as a Hollow Rare there. So that looks really cool. That is awesome. We'll set that side there. Then we've got a Grass Energy, Ariados, Moon Milk Trainer, Vespa Queen, and the Code. Next is Wormpole, Poplio, Skidoo. 
on it. Oh, that onyx looks really cool. I like all the little dicklets and stuff. A Ralts Ampharos Reverse Hollow, which looks really cool, and it is a rare. And then we got Shedinja as our rare card there. That is pretty cool. Water Energy, Quilava, Pupitar, Counter Trainer, or Counter Game Trainer, and the Code. Next up is Scyther, Stunfisk, Chikorita, Alone Meowth, Yan Mask, uh, Quilava Reverse Hollow, which looks really cool, and an Umbreon. Oh, there we got an Umbreon. So cool. I like the artworks on this set a whole lot. Psychic Energy, Quilava again, Pupitar, Counter Gain Trainer, and the Code. Next up is Meryl, Onyx, Morlo, Mareep, Wormpole, Litleo Reverse Hollow, and a Blissey Hollow Rare. That looks really cool. Again, uh, the artwork is so cool on these sets. Water Energy, Zatu, Bayleaf, Dedene, and the Code. And our last pack here, we've got a Chinchu, Hoppip, Peaky Peck, Slugma, Poplio, a Reverse Hall Sableye. Again, that looks really cool. I really like that a lot. Then we've got an Unknown as a rare. So a rare, unknown, non-hollow or anything. It's kind of weird for un or a rare card being unknown since it's so weak and everything, but it's cool. Electric Energy, Electro Power Trainer, Azatu, Bayleaf, and the Code. So that is it for all of our cards. So we did get this Sigilyph, Sigilyph, wow, again, I don't know how to say it. But again, it looks really cool. So we did get a GX card, at least. So at least, you know, we got a good rare card out of there. And then, of course, we have all of these rare cards, which I do like the Hollow Rare stuff of, like, the Blissey and the Nihiligo. But all of these look do look really cool and everything. And then, of course, our Reverse Hollows. But we'll look at the book now just to take a look through the cards here. Um, just to look through it together here. So so here's all the cards. Um, so we didn't get a Tangoroth. That would have been pretty cool. Um, so we do have all the forms of Chikorita there. We didn't get it, but they are in this set. And, oh, a Shuckle <laughs> GX. That's funny. Um, so there's all. There's the normal Shuckle. So we didn't get um, quite a bit of these cards. Um, of course, we will be. I will be getting a booster box at some point. I just you haven't ordered it yet. But I will be getting it hopefully by next week. We've got a Sceptile GX. So we got a bunch of cool cards in here. Then we got a uh, Verizian. Again, I think is how you say it. Um, oh, that Moltres card would be really cool. Typhlosion, uh, Mag Cargo GX. The GXs are kind of weird to me in this set. Um, and Intei, there, yeah, there is that um, Blacephalon. That is what that Pokemon is. So I do know that now for sure. Ooh, it's Loking. And the Lapras looks cool. Suicune GX, that's a good GX card there. Um, we do have all the forms of Poplio in the set. Ooh, look at that Brexus with the giant mouth. Mareep, we got those Mareep cards. They do look really cool. Um, a Zora GX, which would have been awesome to get. Ooh, there's multiple unknowns. So there's, we got the middle one there. But there's at least three different unknowns. Do they spell? Oh, it's just all different. Um... Oh, I see. They do spell. So there's Damage Hand, which is the one we got, and Missing. So that's kind of a weird set. Um, there we got the Sigil Lift that we got there, of course, and then some other um, cards there. Poiple, Nihiligo, which we got the cool. Ooh, a Dawn Fan and Fanfy. I really like that a lot. Here we go. We got <laughs> Look at that Persian. It looks so funny. Um, there we've got a uh, Tyranitar GXL, that would have been awesome if we got that Tyranitar, but we did not. Then we got Genesect and a Low and Nine Tails, which looks really cool. A Low and Nine Tails is so pretty. And we've got a Xerneas Prism Star. Um, Mimic GX. Why couldn't we got that? Oh, look at that Ditto Prism Star. That would have been awesome. We got Lugia GX. Oh, there's so many cool GX cards that we'll never get. Oh my god, this set is huge. Then we've got more Pokemon, then of course we got all our trainers, and so we did get that Prism Star. Um, here we go with the Full Arts again, they look so cool. Weird kind of Pokemon, some of these decisions that they chose, but they still look super cool. Those look so nice. And then of course our Full Art Trainers, and then, oh uh, look at that one, Professor Elms. That would have been awesome to get. Then, of course, we got our Rainbow Rares and the Gold Cards, which we hardly ever get. And then we got that. So that is going to be it for this Sun and Moon Lost Thunder set Elite Trainer Box. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below what it was your favorite card out of the set. Um, which card are you really looking forward to out of the set? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more Pokemon card unboxings. And we will see you next time.